Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Dinkum. Uh, as we do every morning, we'll start off by checking our mailbox. So what's that sound? I have no idea. Oh well. <laughs> so we got some money and... Okay, so that was only 4,400 for that dingo, I think. That's actually less than the ruse we send. I just saw an echidna walking around, so I'm going to try and do that next, I think. Okay, so we should have our advanced trap here. Where is that echidna going? Here he is. So let's, um... I don't think they really stop. Oop. Let's try and get into. Oh, John's isn't open yet. <laughs> All right. We need to we need to wait about 25 minutes for John. I said, well, actually, there's two echidnas here, um, but we've only got the one advanced trap. Just something to bear in mind. I'm just gonna keep an eye on this guy until it's time we can sell him. Actually, we can do hardwood now. We might actually be able to make our own animal collection point, which would be awesome because I think we can probably place that fairly close to where we get the predators. In fact, let me just let me just go and check that quickly. So I think it was hardwood was the only thing we needed for that. That's um which one is it? This. Yeah, nails and palm wood planks and we can make our own. So let's do that actually. Because we need to do that anyway. Uh, palm wood planks and nails, which we've got. I'll just take some tin in case we need to make more nails. Kidna's over there. Here we go, let's make one of these. Right, yeah, so now it doesn't matter now we don't have to get to John's to sell these animals, so uh, let's let's pop that down. And I'm gonna I'm gonna assume I can move it, look, but let's just pop it uh, there for now. Right, let's get this echidna. Where's he gone? Here he is. There we go. And we can also put the ruse in there, although they don't try and break out of their um, cages. You know, they, we can still, uh, still pop them in there. So there's one right there, let's try and catch him. Hey, wrong way. That's it. There we go. Perfect. So we can stick you in there too. And we got one more trap. Let's see what we can find. I think I saw an emu somewhere as well. Maybe more over this way. I'd like to know if you can catch the birds, but I think perhaps uh, that, that's more difficult because they just fly away when you get near. So I'm going to put this on the shore and see if we can kind of tempt him up here. Because they, do kind of, they don't swim, but they do kind of stick to the shore, I've noticed. So we can just get on this side of him. There we go. So we can actually drop into John's as John's is closer than the animal point that we made. Let's see what he's got for sale today. So there's this um, mine pass. So we actually need um, 3,000 permit points to get that, which we're quite a way off doing. I think we've got a couple of um, dailies we can do. I think one's just to chat to a couple of people. We only need to do one, in fact, so that's John done. Yeah. Okay, what's this? Wheelbarrow. I don't think I need a wheelbarrow. I'm interested to know what this is. Furnace. Now, will that do the iron? Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, we... We will take that as a bit of an investment, because um, I do need the iron made. And we can sell this 
I mean, we can't sell it, but I can um, get rid of that. We'll pop the proper furnace down, and now we can make the iron ore. I can remember where I put it. Uh, here. There we go. So let's get that going. It also does the other stuff faster, which is quite nice. Uh, yeah, so let's just sort our, sort our stuff out a little bit. Go there. Go there. Although we're going to be making a trap, aren't we? So actually, let's keep the hardwood. We'll keep the spring. Um, I'll pop the bug net back in there. The furnace can just be stored now, I think. Uh, the copper stuff we're going to keep in there. Just when we need it, we'll bring it out. Maybe a bit of cooked food. And in terms of what we catch with our next advanced trap, I don't know. I mean, maybe just this dingo as it's here. Quite close, isn't it? So maybe the echidna. Maybe we'll do a couple of those. I don't know. Hoping they'll be more valuable. Because the dingo was, it was less. Was it was about the same as you get for an emu, I think. So it was almost not worth it, considering how much more difficult they are to catch. So where's that echidna I saw? There he is. He's getting away from the the point a little bit, but. Ah, damn it. He'll probably break yeah, I was gonna say he'll probably break out before we can do it, but we'll try and get him again. So we should make a bit of money off that. I know we've spent some on our um, our furnace. Right, so let's have a think about what else we want to do today. Done all our trapping. Uh, we could have a look at our stuff. We've got Savvy Shopper, says 250. So yeah, we could maybe work towards our permit points a little bit. Buy a new tool, clear two tree stumps. Well, that's easy enough. Uh, the tree stumps are right here. There we go, that's that one. As for a new tool, uh, I guess our pickaxe is a bit low. We could buy one of those. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, so what do we want to do? Well, we want to pay off the museum, but we're kind of in the process of that. We've got, we've got some animals waiting to be sold. Have we given a fly to the museum? Yeah, actually, uh, because permit points is one way, sorry, museum donations is one way to get permit points, I suppose, isn't it? What was this? Camera. That's a camera. Cheese. That will be 16,000. That's a lot. Uh, I don't know what I would need it for, but maybe that will become more apparent at some point. Donation. Oh, we're here. We could donate that fly. I should have this spider I found as well. Take it. So I think we need 3,000, don't we? So we're, we're some way off that. I want to have a chat with him just in case he says anything about this camera. Like maybe he wants us to take pictures of stuff? Catch a blue spot flathead. Northern Oceans. Uh, no, that's okay. I don't really want to have a fishing day, if I'm honest. There's something down there. What's it? Meat and bones. I'll leave that there. Um, what are we kind of currently building towards other than the permit points? I mean, I'd like to get animals, but I think we're going to have to wait for the right guests to arrive on the island. Let's have a look what else we could, we could make. It might be useful. 
So what does a keg do? It doesn't really say, it just says leave things in there. I mean, we might be able to make like some sort of wine or something or beer from the fruit that we get, maybe? Windmill speeds up nearby furnaces, crushes and barbecues. I mean, that might be good to speed up our furnace. So what do we need for a windmill? Tin sheet, quite a lot of tin sheets. I think we've got about seven. Old gears we might be all right for. Five iron bars, though, so yeah, so that's a way off. Um, it might be nice to have our own crafting table. So all we need is three gunwood planks, nails and a one tin bar. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll make one of those, just so we don't have to keep running into Fletcher's tent every time. <clears throat> so let's see, we need um, iron bars, and was it gunwood planks? I think it was. Which are fairly basic. I've actually got gum logs there to, to do. Uh, we can maybe saw a few more. Not all, not all 58 though. I wonder if we can sell the old furnace as well. That's something I might, might look at. In fact, I'll do that now, just in case we forget and he closes up. Might get some money back for that. Sell that, yeah. Um, ba -ba -bum. That's probably it. Oh, I think I can have the grass seed as well. How about that? 500? Yeah, why not? So, what are we doing? Oh, craft table, that was right. So let's saw a bit of gum wood. We do five. All right, let's go make a crafting table. I need nails, I think. Yeah, so we can make one of these now. That's pretty good. What's this basic hammer for hitting things? Now I don't. Okay, okay for hammers. I might pick up my um, animal point there because that's something we'll probably, if I can. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can pick up everything else, but not this. All oh, right. Okay. Well, at least we can drop off animals when John's closed. I mean, that's good. That's a good thing. I'll probably put my crafting table just somewhere like, like over here maybe. Let's see. Yeah, maybe just there next to my boxes. Oops. Oh, oh no! I keep pressing E. Right there we go. It's all the same stuff, isn't it? So that's fine. One thing I did read in the um, sort of tips that, that are on the loading screen that you can actually fence off wild animals and they'll just um, they'll just live there, which is interesting. I don't quite know what purpose that would serve, but it's interesting anyway. Maybe I'll go to the desert and do some metal detecting. Just uh, it'd be nice to. Find another block of that amber that was worth like forty thousand. I think I've leveled up my sort of logging and mining enough for now. I don't feel a burning need to do any more of that for a while, unless I need specific stuff, of course. But uh, let's give this a go. Now I have a permit that says I should be able to sp should be able to spot some stuff poking out the ground, but I haven't seen anything like that at all yet. I do see a spider over there. I'm just going to go and catch that. Redback. I think that's a new one for the museum collection, so that's good. Um, I haven't seen anything poking on the ground yet. I think a bit like that was a waste of money, that permit. Because it sounded like a good one, like you can, you can sort of spot the stuff without having to do the metal detecting, but it hasn't worked out like that at all. Okay. So 
there's something else over there. Little bug? What is that? Larger day. I don't know if we've sold that to the museum. Or, you know, donated it to the museum. I think we may have. But it's worth checking. I think I've done enough metal detecting for now. I know it's only a bit, but... It's probably not the most thrilling thing to watch. Here's one of these to chop into. Yeah, museum's right here. Let's pop in and see if we can donate these bugs. I think we're missing a Scarlet Jezebel butterfly as well. I can't remember what that looks like. Looks like this. Ooh. That was a croc in the water. I don't want to tangle with them. Oh, yeah, we've done the Scarlet Jezebel then. But we'll do... Can we do two at a time? We can't. We'll have the Redback Spider. Yep, take it, please. And you can have the larger day. Take it. Alright, let's go and have a look at our bug collection, because we, we have donated quite a lot of stuff. 13, it says there. So we got spider in there. Got quite a lot of butterflies in here now and bugs and stuff. We've got I've got a few things in there actually. And the crickets in there too, look. And a fly. Oh, is that the dragonfly, I think? Ah, uh, this one's still currently empty. Does the sign say anything? Here we go. Ulysses Butterfly B, Harlequin Butterfly Bogong, whilst Scarlet Jezebel, Blue Moon and a Fly. I think we've pretty much donated every type of bug and fish we've encountered so far, so that's good. I think I aggroed that crocodile. Um, you yeah, know, I suppose we'll sort out the inventory a little bit. I said there was sort of a, a quick button to just do this and just stick stuff that you've already got stacks of straight in there into the relevant stacks. Yeah, that looks alright. Oh, I've got the, still got the gears in my hotbar. Right there. Okay. Oh, get rid of those gum logs as well. Right, so... I'm a little bit stuck to know what else to do. I suppose I could just go to bed. So what's, our, what's our sort of long-term plan here? Let's talk to Fletch about my house. What can I do to build my house? I need a permit to build my house, don't I, I think? <laughs> Still only got John. <laughs> no, she's not going to talk to me about permits, but building a house might be a nice idea. But um, we need to pay off the museum debt first. That kind of that currently is still the priority. Um, but the museum's been good to us. I'm glad I built it, but it cost a lot. But it's a good way of getting these permit points, and we've probably got maybe two thousand of them out of building the library, which is pretty good. Um, but I think I'm probably done for the day now, so I might just go to bed. So it's, it's almost six o'clock, way past my bedtime. So uh, yeah, let's go in here. Probably leveled up bug catching, level six, mining, tiny bit, foraging, tiny bit, and a tiny bit of money.
Franklin, now that's the scientist, isn't it? I don't have any shiny discs to give him this time. Um, yeah, never mind. All right, well, thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope this was enjoyable. If it was, then please do hit the like button on the video. And in the meantime, I'll hope to see you again for more Dinkum. Bye for now.